The uh, Soyuz functions are being conducted automatically. The CORE's automated rendezvous system is working perfectly, guiding the Soyuz in for its link up to the Rosviet module a short time from now. The Soyuz and the International Space Station now flying over southern Morocco. Uh, expect the final approach mode transition. Range is 230. Uh, 025. Is uh, range rate. We see the uh, uh, course mode uh, final approach. Yes, we uh, see the uh, fly round. MRM 1 is in the OSK center. Range uh, is 225, and 0.135 is range rate. Fly around uh, is complete. The uh, final approach is expected shortly. The Soyuz and the station flying over the uh, Moroccan desert. Yes, um, we have the final approach. Rachel K15 ranges to um, 10. Uh, zero decimal one nine is range rate. Uh, we're uh, rotating along the um, uh, roll. Be ready to execute uh, page 53 in the um, OSK lighting. So we're going to turn on the light for OSK. Uh, we have the um, uh, cone, approach cone station keeping. Um, we confirm the um, headlight activation. Uh, we sent the command. And Russian uh, flight controllers in Karlyov have given uh, the Soyuz the go for final approach. The Soyuz headlight has been turned on, as you can see. Final approach has now been initiated. Final approach. On the approach display, sending the command, uh, the final approach, Prichel command. I sent the command. Range is 200. 200 meters separating the Soyuz from the station. Acceleration for final approach. The two vehicles about to uh, pass just south of Casablanca. Antares, at 21.51, uh, you're going to enter the eclipse. Okay, copy 21.51, ranges 187. Uh, we are accelerating to 085 uh, for final approach. Copy. Uh, range is one uh, seven zero uh, zero decimal eight five is range rate. Antares, uh, could you please expand the video uh, so it covers the entire screen? Okay, copy. Uh, expanding the. Uh, Video. Uh, range is 140, is the uh, final approach uh, 0, decimal 9, copy, we're seeing the video. 
Antoine, what was your um, what was your request about the video about the picture? The Soyuz uh, and the International uh, Space Station heading into an orbital sunset. And this view now from the external video camera, the engineering camera on the outside of the Soyuz, showing uh, the station and the docking port on the Rosviet module. 118 kilo uh, meters separating the two vehicles, closing at a rate of 0.6 meters per second. Uh, the charge is uh, 50, 50 uh, five, five zero copy. But range is 100, zero decimal five seven is range rate. Copy. Less than 100 meters now separating the two vehicles. Um, the cupola module is right beneath us. Or above us. The CORS system will uh, guide the Soyuz forward docking probe into perfect alignment with the docking target on the Rosviet module on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the station. Zero meters, zero decimal four seven is range rate, copy. The other Soyuz that's on board the station, which will be the ride home for Sergei Prokopiev, Dmitry Patelin, and Frank Rubio, just 12 days from now, is docked to the space-facing side of the Russian segment to the Prashal module, that is the node module attached to the multipurpose laboratory module. Range is uh, 70, 70, zero, zero decimal three is range rate. Uh, we have the crosshairs aligned. Uh, so it's in the center. Copy. Approaching 60 meters between Soyuz and station, closing at a rate of two tenths of a meter per second. At the time of contact and capture, the Soyuz will be moving even slower at just about one tenth of a meter per second. Uh, we see uh, the extending uh, cross here uh, in the center of the sky, in the center of underlying. So range is uh, five zero zero one nine range rate. We have gas 7, gas 13, gas 17. Range is uh, 47 meters. Zero. The docking system is now powered up. In the uh, center section of this uh, three section Soyuz vehicle are the three crew members, Laura Lohara, Ali Kononenko, and Nikolai Chub, just moments away from arriving at their new home in space. Monitor, Gaia 13, Gaia 17, yes, we have confirmed that it's all uh, set up. Work for page 55 at this time. Copy. Range is 35, zero decimal one four uh, range rate. Copy. Range is 30 meters per OSK, 0 decimal 0.15 is range rate, copy.
We see our array panels. Yes, it's already floating into our window view. The station is so large and we see it. Range is 25 meters, 0.12, uh, range rate for approach. As you heard, uh, 25 meters separating the two vehicles, closing at a rate now of one-tenth of a meter per second. You can see the, uh, the Pentagon-shaped docking target at the base of the Rosviet module. Copy. Uh, the, we have AR base, uh, range is 20. Copy. How, how do you read me on VHF2? This video now over Russian ground stations of the uh, Soyuz view of uh, the final approach for docking. Now less than 20 meters separating the two vehicles. Anton, we didn't copy your last. Uh, we have our own interference. Right now we're going to switch to VHF-1. Antares, how do you read me on VHF-1? We're really loud and clear. Well, there's uh, a little, there's a small bias, but we're straightening out. Range is, uh, by my assessment, um, 17 meters, and range rate is 0 decimal 1, copy. We see uh, the target, and the eclipse is starting. Range is 10 meters by my assessment. Uh, zero decimal one two is range rate. Copy. I am approaching at seven meters. Range is seven meters and range rate is zero decimal one two. Copy. I think it all works. We have a small bias, and I think we're straightening out. Six meters. Six meters now separating the two vehicles. We have a small bias. Five meters. No. Uh, zero decimal nine. Less than five meters now, standing by for contact and capture. Uh, the bias is straightening out a little by little. Zero decimal, uh, three meters, um, zero decimal one, a range rate. We're expecting contact. Everything is nominal. 5332, we con contact confirmed, docking confirmed at 1.53 p.m. Central Time, 2.53 p.m. Eastern Time, as the station and Soyuz flew 260 miles over Ukraine, south of Kiev. Uh, work for page 56, copy. Monitor the KDU uh, uh, parameters. Monitor the accelerometer activation. And also monitor uh, the messages. Okay, K9 is no longer eliminated. Copy. I think we need to go to SSOP. A flawless launch to docking scenario for Laurel O'Hara, Oleg Kononenko, and Nikolai Chub. O'Hara and Chub arriving at the station for the first time. Kononenko, an old hat at this, this is his fifth flight into space. It was dead perfect from launch to docking. 
docking occurring at 1.53 p.m. Central Time. Strike with Inc. Section 1 and 2. Copy. The uh, transit uh, from the launch pad at Baikonur to uh, the International Space Station took three hours and nine minutes. S-18. And closing RPV-1. Uh, MCC Moscow, we're closing RPV-1. We confirm. Okay, and RPV-1 is closed. And we're going to read you the time. The time when we started that, okay. At 56. I will start the timer at 56 minutes. Uh, should we uh, uh, turn off uh, RPV-1? Inaudible. First measurement. I'm ready to report the first measurement. We're ready to copy the first measurement. First measurement of the pressure in the SS 792. Pressure in the BO is 822. Uh, and the assembly compartment is 877. Ready for. I am ready. Uh, and just switch uh, covidence electrical control on your go. Okay, copy this time. Uh, uh, 20, uh, could you repeat the last in the assembly compartment is uh, the pressure is 877. Uh, so the next measurement will be at 2201 minutes. Work for page 57. For monitoring, copy. S13, uh, 21.57.10 is uh, illuminated. The uh, forward docking probe has retracted, and the hooks are now driving close to form a hard mate between the two vehicles. Standing by for the uh, completion of the closure of the hooks to form a hard mate between Soyuz and the Rosviet module. Antares, Moscow. Requesting launch burn 1280. Copy 1280. You can deactivate recording mode. And uh, we now have confirmation that the hooks are closed. So we have a hard mate now between Soyuz and the International Space Station. Just a flawless uh, rendezvous and docking, no issues at all, as uh, Ali Kononenko, Nikolai Chub, and Laurel O'Hara had a 